Growing rapidly in popularity among young people, as I understand it, it is that GDP game day preview time, Purdue and Virginia Tech. I'm John Laser. He's Mike Burnup. And Mikey, something new for the Hokies this week. They're going to play a football game for the first time ever in the state of Indiana. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. Coach Beamer preaches to him, we got to play the same at home as we do on the road. It's a business trip. Let's go up there and get the job done. Mikey, how much more difficult is it to win away from Lane Stadium? Well, obviously, it's a lot different because the crowd is not in your favor. I mean, they've had the luxury of having two really good games, a nice big crowd for Ohio State when it was the orange effect, and then you come back and you have the white effect. So two good crowds. So everybody's going to be against you. So that's certainly something to think about. One of the things that they now have done now is play with Brendan Motley as quarterback, and he looked very good, particularly in the third quarter against the Furman Paladins. Different challenge, though, when you talk about a Big Ten line with Purdue. Probably won't be quite as much time for Brendan this week. Well, that's the thing. I mean, you look at it, the Ohio State game, you got elite athletes, and then Furman's another class. So obviously Purdue is somewhere between. But I thought Motley got better as the game went on. I mean, he kind of started slow, as did the whole offense, until they got jump started. Started. But then he was outstanding in the third quarter, 9 of 10 for 120 yards in the third quarter. I mean, you couldn't get any better than that, couldn't script better than that. So I think he gained confidence. I think he'll be better this week. And uh, he's had the luxury of traveling with the team since he was a freshman. So that's good. That's something Coach Beamer has always done. Carry those freshmen with you. Let them get used to the environment and whatnot. So that'll be the situation for Lawson, too. When he gets reps, it's going to be all new for him today. Well, let's talk about the Purdue Boilermakers, second Big Ten opponent already this season for the Hokies. Of course, Ohio State was the first. With all due respect to Purdue, they do not have the respect level right now that Ohio State does. However, third-year head coach Daryl Hazel seems to have this program heading in the right direction, and quarterback Austin Appleby seems to be his guy. Yeah, he's been solid so far. And I think when you look at Coach Hazel, it kind of reminds you a little bit of Coach Beamer. He's in his third year. You go back to 87 when Coach Beamer came in, he was 2-9. and nine. Then he was three and eight. Coach Hazel's won five games in his two plus seasons. So he's trying to build a program. He's doing it the right way. He's got some athletes. The talent pool is getting better every year. So he's got his athletes in place and they're expecting to win. Coach Beamer in his third year won six. So they're one and one right now. They've got the loss and the win, and so he's trying to build his program just much like Coach Beamer did. You go back to 1987, I was eight years old. If my math is correct, <laughs> Mikey was 17, I think is it. Mikey, we'll see you on the plane, and we'll see you up in West Lafayette, which we have identified as the game location. Perfect. Uh, looking forward to it. He's Mike Burnham. I'm John Laser. It's the GDP, your game day preview. <laughs>